What's up guys and welcome to something completely different from the It Resolves norm. Today we're talking getting into magic. This is specifically for new players and some advice that I just felt I should give to you as a new player that might help you out along the way. Look, magic is a daunting game with tens of thousands of cards already in existence, hundreds more being added every single year. It can get a little crazy. So if you are a new player, it's very easy to get lost in a sea of cardboard, rules, mechanics, all kinds of stuff, and that can be very discouraging. Today we're gonna try and simplify and maybe trim some of those things down a little bit, hopefully make it really fun and easy for you as you're learning the game. Without further ado, let's jump right in. Tip number one, I recommend sticking with standard. Magic, just like a lot of other TCGs, has a number of different formats available and ways that you can play the game. Magic, more so than others, has quite a number of different formats, some more popular than others of course, but Standard is really where I recommend sticking if you are just learning. First and foremost, the card pool is limited. That means you do not have to spend tons and tons of money on older, expensive cards that are only available in other formats. On top of that, Standard legal cards are pretty accessible no matter where you go, if you're going to Walmart, Target, your local game store, wherever, and they're generally a lot cheaper than some of those old cards. Now there is a downside to standard, it does rotate, which means some of the, the cards that are rotating in pushes some of the old cards out, so you will have to do some updates here and there, but generally it's still a lot cheaper than a lot of other formats. Now, just as a side note, you could also just play kitchen table magic. It's just casual. There aren't really any rules. There's a very good reason why I don't necessarily recommend that, but that is a fun way to play just if you've got some friends over or something like that. We'll talk about why I don't recommend that in tip number two. Speaking of, tip number two is to check out your local game store as often as you can. Local game stores are the lifeblood of the local magic scene. Not only is it a great place that you can pick up new cards, any of the new sets that might come out, but it's also a great place for you to make friends, maybe even practice the game a little bit. Most stores will play standard, which is part of why I really recommend sticking with standard and starting there. Friday Night Magic, a lot of local tournaments are all in the standard format. Now a quick side note here, Commander is also quite popular at local game stores and it is a very, very fun format, but I do recommend sticking with standard the card pool is much, much smaller, and it's a lot easier to get your hands on the cards you need. On top of all that, local game stores are also a really good place to trade with friends, which can help keep your costs down. If you find extra cards in your collection, you want to trade them off, you can get your hands on some of the cards that you may feel you need for whatever deck you're trying to run in that moment. Always keep an eye out for how much you are spending. Do not overinvest. This is a little bit of foreshadowing for later. Tip number three, utilize Magic Arena. Magic Arena is the best place to practice when you are sitting at home with absolutely nothing to do or nobody to play with. I will go ahead and tell you now, it does take time and potentially some money to build up your collection though. The grind is very real, but you can utilize things like daily rewards to hopefully open up some packs and get some of the cards you need that you want to practice with. Alternatively, you can just go ahead and pay into the program and get all the cards you need really quickly, but I don't really recommend doing that, especially if you are just starting out. Arena can get expensive very quickly. I would recommend setting a budget for yourself. As a new player, you really don't want to overspend and get too much money into a game that you may not stick around for. I will put a link down below though if you are interested in checking out Magic Arena. Like I said, it's a really good program and we utilize it quite a bit. I would definitely recommend checking it out. Tip number four is a bit of an obvious one, but it's to check out gameplay here on YouTube. Some of the best players in the world release tons of gameplay videos and share their knowledge. Check out their videos as often as you can, and if you want to, you can even look up specific decks, strategies, anything like that if you are looking to build something in particular. Not to shamelessly plug, but we also do quite a lot of gameplay. If you would like to check that out, I highly encourage you to do so. We've got a giant playlist of arena content that you can check out for different formats, standard included. I will say though, I am by no means an expert. We do have a lot of fun here and it resolves testing a lot of different decks, but I do recommend if you're trying to dig deeper, look at other professional players. Now, tip number five is something I talked about earlier and it's a bit more of a warning and that's don't overinvest right off the bat. Look, we all know Magic is a super fun game and I have no doubt that if you do give it an honest try, you're gonna love it. But ask anyone who plays on a regular basis and they will tell you it can get expensive. Find ways that you can manage your investment into the game, set a budget, and stick to it. Maybe only stick with one deck and allow yourself an upgrade every month or two, just to make sure that you're not overspending on a particular deck. Whatever you need to do to keep your costs from skyrocketing, do it. 
Magic is really a fantastic game, but I hate seeing players jumping headfirst into it without really knowing what they're getting themselves into. Try it, see if you love it, and if you do, decide if at that point you would like to dive deeper. Truthfully, there are plenty more tips I could give to new players out there, and I'm sure you guys have some too. If you're an experienced player and you do have some more things that you'd like to share, please share it in the comment section down below. I tried to keep this video relatively short, but if you would like to have a deeper discussion on this kind of thing, let me know. Maybe we can do a live stream on it at some point down the line. And finally, if you are a new player, I do wish you the absolute best of luck. I hope you found this video helpful and I hope you enjoy the game. If you do decide to join the community, we are ecstatic to have you. Thank you so much for trying out this awesome game. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe if you are not already. It has been great to have you here. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you again very soon.